Do you like explosions? <clears throat> I said, do you like explosions? Don't lie, I know you do. I know, I know you do. You clicked on this video, so obviously. Today, we're gonna be covering the Missile Monkey. Just when the monkeys thought they had done it all, the Engineer Monkey made a new missile launcher. This gave the monkeys extra hope they could defeat the balloon forces. This thing looks hype. Look at this. It's a Missile Monkey. I'm so down and so excited. Huge shout out to the creator of the mod, Dark Terra, as well as Volt the Fox for the idea. Now, let's just jump right into the Missile Monkey. Man, I haven't played on this map in so long. The last time, like, we actually played on this map a bunch was when we did the True Sun God, like, the God Boosting strategy. If you remember the God Boosting strategies here on the channel, you're a real one. It's $700. It's literally the perfect amount of money to buy, to remove this. We would just drop a bomb. I love how we just, like, Yo, I don't want this watchtower. Let's blow it up. So let's go ahead and get the missile monkey. Wait, the missile monkey has global range. Like, this isn't like, oh, he has a range that takes up like a majority of the map. No, it's actually global. So can I just put this monkey here? Wait, what? Holy cow. This guy's crazy. Wait, he can't even hit the red balloons. He's missing. Okay, he's actually, he's just like missing all the balloons. That's pretty funny. Okay. Uh, I've come to the conclusion this is the strongest tower in the game. I haven't even this is just the base tower This is literally the zero zero tower and it's already the strongest tower in the game Look at how fast he fires missiles and it does two damage each This is literally a targeted dartling gunner that does double damage This is insane and has like double the attack speed <laughs> Okay, okay time out time out the first upgrade is shoots twice as fast. The first upgrade. Oh my, bigger missiles. Missile explosions are bigger. And then camo sensors. Missile monkey can now see camo. Okay. Man, these are all very enticing. I just, I, oh man. They're all, re they're all so good. It's kind of hilarious how it, look, look he can't hit the red balloon. Hit the red balloon. Oh my gosh, he actually can't hit the red balloon. Okay. That, that might actually be a problem. Like, the fact that it can't hit it, that could end up being a problem. For Whoa! Wait, oh! Okay, so we need better engineering to hit black balloons. And then double attack. Now shoots two missiles? Wait, 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 wait. Holy cow, that is crazy. I guess the T5s aren't that expensive. They're pretty expensive, but not, like, crazy expensive. So, let's take a look. So, this, the top half... Monkey can now see camo balloons and then can does two more damage, 33% attack faster, and can now hit black balloons and then triple launchers. Does three more damage. Okay, so it looks like this upgrade works with this upgrade double attack. So it looks like you, for this, you definitely want to go triple launchers and then double attack. So this path, because it even says five, if you're shooting five missiles. Okay, that's a lot of missiles. And we probably want to get that as well. So I think we probably will go ahead and start off with just faster missiles. That is crazy. This is, look how fast it's shooting. I would need to preface something, okay? This is a T1 tower, okay? This is a, this is a dart monkey. Okay, this is also a T1 tower, okay? I want this, like, this is a T1, okay? Same thing. You can even buy, like, a super monkey bottom path T1. And, but the super monkey would be, like, five times as expensive. This is 700, okay, and 400. So it's, like, $1,100. Super monkey with bottom path is 5,000. It's actually five times as expensive to get the super monkey. And this guy's way stronger than a super monkey. Double attack is kind of expensive. Um, I also don't know when we're going to go up against black balloons. So we might need to get... I'm going to get better engineering. So it attacks even faster and does two more damage. So now it actually... <laughs> I can't hit these balloons. That is so funny. Okay, there we go. We actually got the upgrade on the perfect time. Because black balloons show up on round 20. So it's good to know that we have this under control for now. We should theoretically be able to hit every type of balloon now. Okay, I want to get triple launchers, but that's not going to happen. Let's just go ahead and get double attack. 
and now we actually should be able to hit balloons way easier like way easier now yeah and sometimes it is double i don't even want to know what the triple attack is going to look like the triple attack is going to be insane all right well let's we can spread these guys up as well right so we're going to need this is going to be we'll make this one top half so we can get another one over here and have this one target like strong i guess and this can be bigger missiles here we're doing fine let's just get a marketplace let's just upgrade all of these to marketplaces because i think there's really i mean we're basically spawn camping the balloons at this point like we're we're <laughs> i love how they can't hit the balloons this might be a bad map for them because like they're going left and right and they're trying to hit them probably if we played on cubism or something but we need to be on the firing range to be firing all these big missiles so that's kind of important is i feel like double attack is always the way to go like, a T2 upgrade that just gives you two extra attacks seems really, really strong. Let's get bigger missiles, so explosions are now bigger. I can't really tell. And then even missile explosions are even bigger. So now we have even bigger explosions, which is very nice. And then violent missiles. Does more damage to ceramic, fortified, and Moab class balloons, as well as three more base damage. Nice. Okay, super strip does more damage and explosions now strip all balloon properties under a BFB. This includes fortification, camo, lead, and regrow. I kind of want to just get faster missiles and double attack. For the fact that it just does crazy damage, right? I think that's kind of the... Or bet... Ah, it does two more damage and can now hit black balloons. Man, does more damage can strip balloon on under his OMG. So do I care about that or do I just get it a village? Right? I think I just get it. I think I just get a village. I think that's the play. I think we get the fast because it double attack speed. Double attack speed, mind you, is pretty good. All right. I give it radar. So I can't hit black balloons. So that is like a slight downfall, but that's fine. I'm not worried about it. Should I put another one just within the range of this? I probably should. I think I should put one like up closer, right? But I guess it'd be better. It'd be more wide. That was a that was the Moab, friends. That was the Moab. All right, we'll put this guy down too. So we haven't gotten bottom path, right? So that's we haven't even gotten triple launchers. Not that we need it, right? Like there's just these guys are all so powerful. For now, actually. Okay, these are all so powerful that I want to try each, like, path individually, and then from there we can go. So from here, let's just get, let's just get the triple launchers. Interesting. I got triple launchers, but it's shooting only three. It says it should five if doubles attack is bought. I wonder if I bought it in the wrong, like, order. I wonder if I get triple launchers and then get double attack. Does it work? No, it does not. Unfortunate. Man, I guess I'm still not complaining though. It says it should shoot five if double attack is bought, but that's okay. So the next one is Moab Maulers. So Missile Monkey now shoots Moab Maulers along with its increased damage to Moab class balloons. Whoa, okay, that's, this is, this is not the Missile Monkey. This is the Darling Gunner Moab Eliminator. This is what this is with like aimed abilities. He just, he just mows them all down. I can't wait to see. All three of these T5s, like, just smack down together, right? Like, I have no idea. But it's probably going to be pretty good. The cost efficiency for these towers, too, is pretty insane, right? Like, it doesn't cost that much money to get this. And it kind of solos everything. I'm, again, again, no complaints from me. We got a missile monkey that shoots Moab Eliminators? Sure. Sure. Now uses the Moab Eliminator missiles. Also does more damage to fortified balloons. Okay, pretty gnarly. But I want to try out all of them. So let's go and try the super strip and then double attack. Well, I guess this just strips off like balloons. Right? So that like that just like is kind of more of a what's the word? A support base tower. Like it's not really support because it just like still annihilates everything, but you know what I mean. So, the bottom is faster missiles, double attack. What is E? Okay. Whoa! Okay, wait, wait, wait. I want to try this. So, EHV. 
so you can shoot through walls now, and it says it has better, like, detection. Which it does seem to have a little bit better. Ooh, I need MIB. And then, double bomb. Missile now contains two bombs. What does this mean? I don't know what this means. Is it just, like, double, double damage? Okay, so let's get bigger missiles and even bigger missiles. And, I mean, once you get those two T up, the T2 upgrades are insane. And then Ultra Knockback shoots way faster, does more damage to ceramic and Moab class balloons, and also knocks balloons back. All of this is just... This tower is just a big go-away Moabs. Like, it's it's literally such a big, like, uh, you're a big, you're a poopy tower Moab, and I never want to see you again, all right? It's just all to bully Moabs, and I'm in. I'm in for it, okay? Again, these are not complaints by any means. I'm ecstatic to have a missile monkey that... Okay, so it does pretty good, this bottom path, but I really want to get this ultra knockback. And now we can get the ultra knockback, and then, now it is time we can get all of them and see how strong they are together. So let's get this ultra knockback and bada bing, uh, bada boom. All right, so ultra, oh, whoa. I don't think it knocks balloons back. I think it just instantly destroys them. Right, like it doesn't knock anything back. It just, it just sends them into the shadow realm. I feel like double attack is always just the better option. And then violent missiles and then ultra strip does even more damage. Like, every single one of these upgrades is like, yeah, it just does way more damage. Like, it just does an insane amount of damage. That's it. It just does, like, crazy damage. Okay, we can get this, and that does even more damage. So, now we need to get the, the final one, the Pisa de Resistance. Ah, uh, because the, the double attack doesn't work, so you don't get any extra. So, bigger missiles, does it say more damage? It just says bigger, so I think we're just going to go with faster missiles. I think that's still still the one to beat. And then we can... It says it uses Moab Eliminator missiles. How is this balanced? How is this reasonable? Who okayed this? Because I'd like to give them an award. Can't even see my screen. There's just so many Moabs. I love that you can just, like, spam them down, too. Like, because they're, the, they're the size of a sniper. And since they're the size of the sniper, you can just cram them in. And they just have, like, this giant like yellow pea stream of just like bombs a bad oh, oh. <laughs> <Let's>... <laughs> all right friends i think we've seen enough of the missile monkey guys if you want to see us get a paragon of the missile monkey let us know hit that like button maybe we can get the modders to make that